pitch wise, there's 174 pitches, I think. What the hell is that spider? <laughs> oh, I was just about to sit down and take a respite, but no, we're off again. <laughs> but we've actually found caged ducks. So after a long drive and we set off early this morning, it's now five o'clock Spanish time. Um, we did go to the, to put the coordinates in of the place where we were suggested, but unfortunately when we got there it was absolutely crammed and we couldn't get in. So we have decided to drive up um, a bit further to Pamplona and we expected that the air that we stayed in last time that uh, we paid for would be full and you don't really want to be paying for it if you can help it for the few hours, do you? So we decided that when we was in the other air, we emptied our waste in our Elson, so we thought it'd be all right to go on the free parking that's just opposite. Um, so we haven't done that. Obviously, we didn't see it last time, to be fair. Um, but it seems all right. You know, it's got. You can stay here free for one night, and then you have to yeah. pay after that. Um, there's some quite big spaces, and they are actually meant for motorhomes. The huge like blue lines are separating. And um, yeah, it's quite a big, big area. Um, and that's where we were last time. It's just straight over that road, over there, because that was the the fireman's, the fire um, station, and we were kind of in front of that. And up there is the um, lift. I believe that's the lift there. So yeah, it's not um, not too bad, to be honest for one night. Sorted. And we're just about level as well, just a little bit off, but I think a short amount of home would be level. Um, so pretty good. You reckon a short amount of home might be level, more level than us? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, we're only slightly off, so it ain't too much of a problem. Yeah. But yeah, massive spaces though. And actually it seems a bit more quiet on this side. Um, but you can, did you, you obviously explain we can still use the facilities. No, I haven't explained that yet. Oh. So over the other side, you have got a, a 45 minute window if you want to go into the air. And obviously if you look back to our first vlog of Pampelona, you'll see the air. Um, so you can use the facilities, grey waste and all that sort of stuff. Um, you know, uh, and water top up and everything and then get back out of there. So. So yeah. I do. They have to give you a window anyway because you have to drive in to find out if there's no spaces and then drive back out again. So they have to have some kind of time window. Um, but it gives you plenty of time to use the services if you're desperate. We're just going to chill out now. Um, there's nothing made to show you here. We've shown you it all before. Um, so we'll probably catch up with you when we end up in France. Hello and guess what we did we made it we made it back into France uh, no trouble at the border whatsoever so that's all good so we're here now and where are we now? Bonjour we are ah. in La Rochelle. La Rochelle yeah. is that how you say it? It's south I think so yeah it's southwest France um, so we thought I'd do a bit of the west coast on the way back up because we were in a rush to get to uh, Spain when we first came in so yeah, so we're going to yeah. see a little bit, only for the next few nights, but a little bit more of France and give it a, give it a chance. Um, and this is a city, I believe, as well. So we're only at the port area uh, on a nice air, which we will um, show you before we leave. Yeah, so we're going to take you with us to see a little bit of the uh, port area, aren't we? Let's do it. Where we've parked. We came in that way, came round and found this slot, this pitch. Should I say? It was a bit like just finding a slot that you could fit into. <laughs> um, but we have got, we've got our stickers on the front, look. And uh, we've got electric over there. Got a bit of a tree, not actually right over us. But it's there, and then this is where Lee's plugged in. And he's in the boot, or the garage. These are ideal. There's my steering lock. Definitely have a pedal lock. Yeah. It's going to stick them on and then we're going to yeah, head up, aren't we? Yeah, I'm going to stick them on. It just uh, gives me reassurance that everything's locked up. More than anything. Pitch wise, there's 174 pitches, I think. But there's half of them with electric. Now, 
it's about 13 and a half euros for night per night here we did want to try and do free ones but sometimes in areas it is it does get difficult but for that 13 and a half euros you do get electric if your pitch has got one so there's no more cost to have electric than if you're plugged in or not plugged in but plenty of spaces all in shade well, most of them Yeah, and we had to get a ticket when we came in. So I guess you just pay for that when you leave, depending on how long you've been yeah, here. Yeah, I believe, I believe so. Yeah, so you've got 24 hours here, and it does it on the 24-hour thing. So if you go to 25 hours or over your 24 Charge hours, you. you'll, they'll pay you, you'll have to pay for two days. Right. So just be aware of that. Stick within your 24 hours, and it's just one day's charge. Unless here you want to go. stay here more. That's where we come in. We're going to check it out. Actually, we're going to check this out now. We came in here. There's your exit, but there's the machines. To yeah, there's ones out of order, I think. Is it? One's working. Well, if they're both out of order, that means it's a freebie. No, <laughs> no one's working. I said. That's what I wanted to look for, where the Elson point was and everything like that. What's that so one then? Okay, stick it in there and then you pay. So... It's got their uh, you've got ten minutes, so you've got ten minutes if you come in and there's no pitches. So you can see there, 13.55 euros, 24 hours. Uh, Okay, if you lose your ticket, it's 200 euros, so just be aware of that. Where's ours? In the van. <laughs> right. There we go, so pitches 1 to 39 and 95 to 171. Um, they have the uh, electric um, dumping and fill up water area. Wi Fi. Okay, so we got services on the pitch and I ain't noticed. Don't know. That's something we'll be checking out later because the pitch is back that way. So we'll have a look when we get back for the rest of it. There's your map with all your pictures on. Oh, that's always good. I don't know where we are though. We came in here and we're parked up here. We're around here. Okay. So, uh, water, water, water. So dumping area, big spot in the middle and a big spot there in the middle. Lovely. Found a friend. What the hell is that spider? Whew, whew, that's big. <laughs> no one, you don't want to walk into that web, do you? And I'm glad it's on there and not on the footpath. Being a city, I don't, I don't know if it's the outskirts, but we're not far from where the bridge goes over to like the little island bit, which we're not going to do because we haven't got time to do that. So you've got all these uh, high rises, and at least they've got massive numbers on them. So you know where you well, live. There's like that's lucky, I wouldn't look. Oh, no, I wouldn't live in that one. Not on top floor. <laughs> um, yeah. That's all right. Tell you what, I nearly stood in dog muck then. Oh, did you? Luckily, I looked down. That's yeah. what that number 13 was about. Really? <laughs> yeah. Jesus. <laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely the number 13. <laughs> Jesus. We're not looking at that building on the way back. <laughs> That's a nice looking tree. What do you think? That tree. Oh, yeah. It's like a little bonsai tree. Well, a big bonsai tree, because little bonsai trees are bonsai trees are small yeah, anyway. Well, I always say things backwards. <laughs> it looks like a little bonsai tree, but, but bigger. bigger. <laughs> Cycle route. So what? It's not easy well, on that bit. I don't think no one really cares. Whatever then. Not my fault. <laughs> no clue. <laughs> Probably said something funny for the camera, but I just think that's it. Let's have a look at this. Oh, hang on, we're on the attack again. <laughs> Napoleon. This is what we came to this see. Nice, isn't it? Yep. Yeah. Oh, boats down there. You've got your Scarborough Sea Defence again. <laughs> like. Very nice. Not along there.
Lots of sailboats. And Lee sending text messages, arranging to meet up with somebody. And if you're that person, you'll know who it is. You know it's you, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> You just said, oh look, there's little seats. I don't think that's a little seat, yeah. <laughs> that's your seat. <laughs> and that one's mine. <laughs> What's that all about? Is it something about don't take the shellfish from the beach or something? I don't know. I'll cook it. I don't know. <laughs> just not for making that up. There's a weather fitting thing up there. Oh yeah. Look at this, you can see the sea defence here. I said it's like Scarborough, didn't I? A minute ago. Oh, wow, this is bigger sea defence than that. Yeah, very similar though. Is that the Spanish Armada come across there, is it? I don't know, is it? <laughs> are, they, are they on the attack again? Unless it's a pirate ship. Mm. It's a nice stop, actually. He's going to tell me he's forgot his wallet. Old, I never say that. That old chestnut. But I didn't bring my sunglasses out because I really didn't think it'd be summer. Uh, oh, so it's just no sunglasses. Squinting. Sweating. I'm sweating. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how. I've just been in like 30 degrees. It's different heat, isn't it? It's muggy here. Yeah. It's more of a, yeah. Yeah, it's muggy, moist. More of a muggy. So the steps go into the water there. And the gate there. Oh, yeah. Oh, you're not going in there. It's open. It's open. <laughs> I can hear an alarm going off somewhere now. So you can get onto the boats or something. I don't know. Just a guess. Maybe. Go kayaking, sat board in. Quite a few kayaks out there actually. Yeah, it's probably for that. Mm. Like how they just have like the random chairs here. They have the same just well, I like place. The, I like the way they have random cannons. <laughs> Yeah, I can't believe how, um, how warm it is, actually. Um, but it's more of a muggy heat in southern France. Um, so I'm getting a bit of a sweat on. I've stopped doing that in Spain since Benidorm. I think I lost all my water at that point going up to that cross, but... Yeah, a bit like that now. Yeah, so <laughs> we're, we're going to carry on walking down some quirky buildings. Um, just to see if there's anything more down here. We I, think think, I think there may be, but I'm not sure if I'm going to Yeah, I think there's a big port and stuff like that, yeah. but um, we believe we're going in the right direction anyway. It's bloody warm. Isn't it? it is warm, isn't it? Yeah. I think one thing we've noticed in France, Spain, and probably all over Europe is the bike tracks. So they always have these bike tracks. Now, in the UK, they want to promote people getting out on their bike more, but they don't seem to put the right have you a know, few, don't they? They have a few, yeah, yeah maybe in cities and stuff like that, but not everywhere. And, you know, getting the right bike tracks and, you know, making the right infrastructure for people to get out on their bikes. But here they seem to do that, just like Spain um, and even uh, Gibraltar. Uh, even up there you can go on your little bike track ride. Mm, Off they go.
So we're just walking along like, I would call it like a promenade bit. But uh, um, you've got like a little, I'm sure no one's in it first, but look, there's a little stand. Oh, it's a seating area. Oh, there you go. Ooh. Nice and cool though. Oh, nice and cool. It is, it's like stone. Oh, I was just about to sit down and take a respite, but now we're off again. <laughs> Over there, in the distance, I can see a beach. The pledge. See everyone sailing out there. Loads and loads of boats. Some steps, so we're going to go and check these out, see what uh, where this leads. Probably on the path to nowhere. To the sea. Oh, hang on, I think there's a footpath down here. Oh, it's nice and quirky, isn't it? Well, look at this, you reckon that's where they used to hang people? Oh, what? Or is it just holding the tree up? I don't know, it's like a little dock. That's, a, that's what it is, it's a dock. An old... An old dock. I don't know if you can walk around and then there's another path up. It looks like it. I don't know. I don't think you can. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, path up. There we go. You've got a bridge over there as well. That takes you onto like a little island bit. Yeah. Still warm. I don't like being right next to the sea. I just don't like heights. Do you want to swap places then? Yeah. I don't mind falling in that because, um, well, then again, there's stones. It probably, <laughs> yeah. I, I probably won't uh, survive. I just don't like being mm. that close to the sea. Oh, I don't know. It, oh, it's just a bench. It oh, hang on. Makes me feel a bit bruisy. It's moving. Yeah. Hang on. We may have something up here. I don't know. There's a way out. Yeah, there's stairs. There's stairs there. <laughs> and there's stairs there. Ah. There's a war memorial. It's a memorial, I think. I may be wrong. Where's this dance? 1940 40, 45, so that'd be World War. World War II, right? So, World War II, and obviously back then the French were uh, allies. Yeah. Um, so, it's a bit of a remembrance wall. Yeah. No names or nothing on it. There's a few. But very pretty. I think there's a few um, on there. So as Jodie just said there, what is it like here? Very... Uh, calm. It's very calm. Yeah. Even the water. Even the water's calm. There's people out on the beach over there. It's getting a in. Thursday, isn't it, today? It is Thursday, yeah. So. yeah. But um, getting in the last bit of sunshine, I suppose, before does winter really kick in in south of France? Yeah, I suppose it does. It'll still be warmish. We are in a nice uh, restaurant, having a nice bottle of wine. What we found though in these restaurants, they're not cheap, are they? Not the cheapest bottle we've got right now is 32 euros. Yeah. It's not 30. Yeah, but I still think it'd work out cheaper. Probably, but yeah. ain't the cheapest. But hey, look at that view. So we just had a lovely bottle of wine in um, Loyal de Chris in... Yeah, is that what it's called? Yeah, it wasn't a loyalty card from Chris, as you <laughs> said. Um, in La Rochelle. Yeah, it was lovely, actually. By Very Netflix. expensive, though. I've noticed in France is quite an expensive place yeah, these days. I, I remember back in the day, I used to be, pop over to France, get the ferry from Dover, over to Calais, get a bit of shopping, you know, the, the normal, you know, alcohol and all that sort of stuff, and it used to be cheap as anything. That became the Euro, and it was like the European Union. Yeah, but I remember, I remember when I was in Portugal, when the Euro just came in in Portugal, and everything, a can of Coke, 
anything was a euro because no one understood it back then. So it just prices have gone up. He tells me he's younger than me. I reckon that's back in the day, look. Well, right, back in back, the day. Back in the day. Yeah, back in the day. When well, you, I were you a didn't, lad. You didn't, lived, a you didn't live close enough to actually get across the front. No, I didn't experience much more the horse than Scarborough. And cart, the horse and cart would have took no, two I days did. just to get to the... I um, didn't get out with Scarborough, just, love, at that age. Just to get to the coastline. <laughs> Scarborough was my... Uh, my life. Anyway, then, yeah. I think we're going to try and find a shop. Yeah. And then um, go back to stock the, up on a few things and then go back to the van. And chill out. Oh, I'm going to make pizza tonight. Yes, pizza. Yeah. And we've got actually, it's croquettes uh, with bon, I jambon. I don't know if they're called croquettes, though, but well, they are like that, aren't they? Ham in croquettes. So that would be quite yeah. cool. Yeah, Happy we've with eaten that. a lot of cheese since we've been here, haven't we? Yeah, don't want no more. Look what we found. Now, it's a bit different from the UK. But we've actually found caged ducks. Now in the UK, obviously they have the ducks out, but these ducks must be pretty vicious. Where are they? They're all over there, look. But they're within the cage. And it is asking you not to feed them and stuff. Maybe it's because they're like um, protected species or something. Well, I don't know. You've got white ones and the other ones. They're all pretty normal. There's loads, there's like loads of them over there. The thing is, they can all fly and they can all get over here. Yeah. So I don't know, to be honest. And there's a dog. It's like a corgi, I think. Mm. No need to laugh at him, Lee. There's too many mosquitoes in here. <laughs> Loads of mosses in here. Oh, smells funky too. We've found ourselves a zoo. It's a farm, like um. It's a free zoo. It's like a farm, more than a zoo. Peacocks over here. I've never known to, ducks to be called uh, called and off no. or caged off before. Oh look. Got some mozzies around there. Oh no, darling. I have to walk fast because there's lots of there's a turkey in there. Peacocks. Hello. Hello. Oh, <laughs> getting some water. Sorry about the rushed uh, mm. <laughs> view of all the animals. There. Well, after the trouble we've had with mosquitoes in the past, uh, well, the past few weeks anyway, um, yeah, we had to get out of there, didn't we? Yeah, I think he agrees as well. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, seriously, though. Know, they're it's obviously a different type. They're, they're very small within that park. Different type than some of the Spanish ones we bumped into. But at the same time, the way you react, yeah. it's not worth the risk. I did, I did feel them on my legs in the end, and I just had to like, try and run out of there. <laughs> but we'll see when we get back. I know how to deal with them now, anyway. Jody has been telling me how laid back France is. So we went in the supermarket, and we bought a few things. And there was a lady in front, and she was very laid back, and it was lovely to see. It was not like a Lidl or an Aldi where you, you rushed through. But then, when it was our turn, she tried to rush me. Like, come on, get in the back. I said, Jodie, this is France. I'm not it's, it's laid because, back. It's because. Chill out. Because the lady was still packing her stuff, and she yeah. was putting her stuff down there. Yeah, but there was enough time for me to relaxly just. Chuck my Maybe bag down, I don't know. and then I, I was like packing it slow time. It was lovely. So unfortunately, at the end, we lost a bit of footage, but we'd like to say thank you for everyone's support, and to Andy and Rose for your super thanks, and Ian for your coffees, and we will see you on the next one. So see you later.